comes to water retrieving, one breed stands out from the rest. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever. High energy, strong, loves to swim. The state dog of Maryland, these tough dogs truly represent. These are dogs that will literally dive into icy, icy water and swim for a very long period of time. This is a dog that is very powerful, very well muscled, and very intense. <laughs> General George Custer took his rough-and-tumble Chesapeake Bay Retrievers into battle with him. And legend holds that President Theodore Roosevelt's Chesapeake Bay Retriever, Sailor Boy, was a descendant of Custer's dogs. These were dogs that actually got shipwrecked off the coast of the Chesapeake Bay way back in the 1800s. And the Newfoundlands that were on board were subsequently crossed with American Retrievers. And over time, we developed the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Bred to hunt waterfowl in the rough and icy waters of the Chesapeake Bay, oh. these dogs had to be the toughest and most independent retrievers. The overpopulation of birds at the time often required them to make 200 retrieves per day. Not even inch-thick ice stopped them from doing their job. Their battering ram chest, broad and powerful, enabled them to break through dense ice. Chesapeake's were bred to be very durable dogs who had a very intense instinct to swim. They have several characteristics that help them take to frigid waters, like their ducks. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever is a double-coated dog. It has a soft undercoat that's very dense, and it has an oily, flat top coat. Now that's what makes this dog a great water dog, because it actually repels the water. So one shake of a wet Chessie will leave him close to dry. One of the most beautiful things about Chessies is their coloring. Their waterproof coat comes in three basic shades that blend in with their working environment. Brown, sedge, or dead grass. And their eyes and their nose and their lips tend to be of a similar shade. Their muscular hind legs make them remarkable swimmers. They can swim fast and for long stretches of time. And finally, their powerful and wide muzzles enable them to carry large waterfowl with a gentle hold. Unlike the ultra-friendly Labrador Retriever, the Chesapeake is often standoffish around strangers and other dogs. I will warn people that although they look a lot like labs, they're not labs. Could it be a case of mistaken identity? It's unfortunate that a lot of people mistake Chesapeake's for wire-coated Labradors because their personalities are generally very different. Of all of the sporting breeds, the Chesapeake is probably the dog with the hardest or strongest temperament. This is what makes these dogs some of the best working dogs out there. They excel in obedience, tracking, and make great explosive sniffing dogs. Chesapeake Bay Retrievers are prone to a few health issues. They do suffer from joint issues like hip dysplasia, but that's the case with a lot of larger breed dogs. They require a good amount of vigorous activity and would rather retrieve balls than go for a walk. They love to hunt, they love to retrieve, and they love to swim. So they are not ideal apartment dogs. These are the sorts of dogs that should be out in the country, out in the suburbs. Basic obedience training is not an option for this dog. They must be properly trained by a strong leader or they can become domineering. Chesapeake Bay Retrievers are not the right dog for novice dog owners. Their coat is low maintenance, so a weekly brushing should do the trick. Chesapeake Bay Retrievers love to swim and need ample space to run. Like other large dogs, they are prone to hip dysplasia and bloat. Grooming is a cinch. They need strong leadership and firm training and are best suited for experienced dog owners with older children. Love you, love. Love you, love.